Cool. Oh my god, it's Dreadlocks. <laughs> it's Dreadlocks learn to fly. Wait, let's get out of here. We can't handle a Mega Lucario. And as he's, as he's talking, Victoria just beats the shit out of him. <laughs> Not even stretching the wood. Stop it. <laughs> That's it's funny. That's their thing, Rob. Kaya. I only came because I heard about this ruin, and I thought it would be interesting to explore. I'm glad I came in time. Those people were from the Abyssal Cult. From what I can tell, they're pretty similar to Team Augur from Hoenn, except they kill people. That's literally the only difference. They're trying to <laughs> capture the legendary Pokemon Kyogre. That's mine, bitches. Mega Evolution, huh? I've heard of it before. I don't fully understand it, but it seems to be a former Pokemon become even more powerful than before. But I remember reading that it requires a close bond between trainer and Pokemon. I wonder how the Lucario was able to do it then. I need you to ri well... Like, that's part of the lore, right? That's not needed to actually Mega Evolve, that's needed to, like, stop your Pokemon from going crazy. While they're mega evolved. Yeah. Yeah, that's also part of Lord of the Law. People don't know much about mega evolution at all. Yeah, people don't know that because they kind of explained it in, like, the anime with Karina, and they also try. They kind of tried to, like, subtly explain it in Super Mystery Dungeon, but nobody played that game except for me. Because if I you make. that game and beat it. If you mega evolve Pokemon in that game, like. They have a limited time before they like go, go berserk, and start breaking everything. Yep. And that's kind of like to show that that's what happens if Pokemon don't have trainers to bond with. They don't retain the sense of self. How often it makes more sense when you actually look into what Infinity Energy is that actually makes Mega Evolution work? Yeah. What's up in the name? I kind of wish like. People actually- I kind of wish they explained it better because people just took the Alola Dex entries as like, Oh, Mega Evolution is actually evil! Oh my god! But really, they're just- it's just poorly explained lore. And it also suggests that Alola trainers are terrible to their Pokémon. Whatever. <laughs> or, I guess it's just a- I guess it's just a question of where they even got the da got that data from. Well, they feed a rat pancakes. Usually that would probably explode it. <laughs> but it's a really big rat, Rob. <laughs> they just force feed Raichu a bunch of pancakes hoping something will happen, like... Oh my god. Something's gotta happen eventually, right? <laughs> Keep giving it more pancakes. It's more... It's... It's more implied. Why does your Raichu look like that? I don't know. We get some pancakes. Maybe it's that. No. Maybe it's that. No, I'm not wrong. We don't know what happened. Maybe it's the pancakes. I like. Did it? Did it occur in the wild, or not? Did Did someone just like keep feeding Raichu pancakes every day until like, oh, it's psychic type now. It has psychic powers. Like, was that what happened? Who knows with that? The, the freaking weird alone form explanations are weird. Yeah, but it's also just that humor. The whole thing just implies, we don't know. We don't really care. I know, yeah. but... Like... The Alola dick is really also, stupid. It's just really dumb. I guess dumb. it's also just a joke on psychic types being mysterious as well. I mean, like... Just in a way stupider way. The Alola Dex is just dumb. Like, honestly. I still love their Dex entries. I actually, I actually like them. It it makes a lot of the Pokemon fit in more with the world. They actually, some of the Dex entries are actually shown inside the game, which Pokemon doesn't do, and barely does even in Gen 8. Like, my least favorite one is... Fucking Sylveon's Dex entry where it, it says like Delta Koala. Yeah, I know, but shit. It's not. Like, you guys know what Sylveon's Gen 7 Dex entry is, right? Yes, it, it strangles its play with its 
ribbons. And it's really stupid. I mean, it's ribbons or feelers. I I know. Don't see why not? Like the fact like it's ribbons or feelers since Gen Six. The fact that not only they imply that oh Sylveon doesn't actually need a trainer to evolve into Sylveon, but like it's also the fact that it's this vicious fucking cold blooded killer. It's like <laughs> stop, <laughs> fucking stop. <laughs> What is wrong with you? What do you want it to eat? It needs to eat something. I can't believe fairy types actually use their advantages in nature. So weird. Like the fact that it's a carnivore. Like why? <laughs> Does it just have to be a carnivore? That's just the only thing it talked about. I. That's just really stupid to me. It's just. It's just so stupid. I also find it stupid. I find it kind of, I find it kind of stupid too. Wait, hold on. I'm all right with it just because it's funny, and doesn't really uh, affect the... anything. Yeah. Let's not forget, Salamence. <laughs> Salamence is known as the blood soaked crescent, which is even <laughs> dumber. It's even dumber. I'll never None stop of the mega yeah. evolutions beat mega. Okay, okay, the Mega Evolution entry is already exception. It, none of the Mega Evolutions are as stupid as either Mega Galele, Mega Titar, or Mega Genga, I think it is. What's Mega Tyranitar's dex entry? Um, okay. it's in so much intense pain, it's basically dead walking around because it's back split open. Oh, shut up! I do remember the back split open, but I don't remember saying, like, so much pain to a dead man walking stage. No, it, it's basic... It says it's back split open via so much pain that it's basically just walking around now. Or something of the sort. That and is it's so dumb. Oh my god. It's like the god... It's like they got middle middle schoolers to write these entries and make them as edgy as possible. Yeah, they're far too extreme. Although there's some that just don't make a lot of sense, like the sheer amount of scars from battle that Mega Shark people gets, despite the fact it only gets those when transforming. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm glad the National Dex is I, I gone. I have problems with Mega Evolution I'm entries. I'm not, I love yet. reading National Dex entries. <laughs> well, they haven't even been making any new ones. It's like I the know, I'm Pokemon. upset. I want more entries. Yeah. Also, when I said that, That's I meant- The only thing I really care about for the Pokedex is I want more entries in it so that they're fun to read, because most of them are so stupid as shit. When I said I want the National Dex gone, I meant- I meant uh, the actual decks and not the Pokemon. I want the Pokemon to stay. I think I think I want the decks to stay because it's fun to read. The decks and say I I didn't even say I I want them go oh, I want no. it gone. At I this just point, said I just want them to redo the decks. That'd be fun. <laughs> Actually, try to make it consistent and ignore half the other entry. We got to do it <laughs> What, you don't like that God of War can make black holes? Hey, that one... Look, I like it, but I don't think oh, it's fire. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not risking fire a fire move. No, I'm not risking a fire move. I don't know move. what that is. What was this? What is this? Delta Huntail. The Huntail, apparently. Okay, I can see the Huntail. It... Um, I'm not risking okay, a fire move. Fire. It's ah, definitely see? fire. See? It's like, it has like Mega Charizard X blue fire. Yeah. Oh, it's Here. super effective. Maybe it's fire dark? Yeah, it actually seems pretty likely when you put it that way. Huh. Oh, uh, it's a dual type dragon duck. Oh. So the fire is just for show. Yeah. Well, I mean. I'm glad oh, because I, mean, it, I guess you're just a dragon. Fair I'm enough. glad because it kind of alerted me to the presence of that the fire. You know, maybe I should have thought about that for a second. Make a Charizard X, the dragon type. It's a normal Ivysaur, not the 
Not the purple crystal one. Ugh. No! Yeah, dragon dart. Dragon darts? No, I'm not dragon darts. I'm not playing Jenny. That move sucks, by the way. Does it? No, I'm just- I just- the set I used with it isn't good. I used the Dragon Paul to know you, and... The set recommended Dragon Darts, but... It's not very good on it. It's a Thunder Wave Hex set. I don't know. Could probably- oh wait, a counter! Are you fucking kidding me? I don't want this. It's good- A bell? It- Um... It has a catch rate of that. three. Have fun with that until Matang. Oh, and also that. Well, that's only three moves away. Three levels. I... This thing is gonna kill- we're not gonna catch this thing. No, we're not. You shouldn't even try. Also, it'll be our third steel type. It's a way better steel type, and I would love if we could catch it. Well, we also have to train it up. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Does Beldum evolve at 20? Yeah, Beldum evolves at 20 into my tank. Hmm. Wow. Just live three levels with takedown. <laughs> and why can't it be shiny? Because then we can <laughs> actually catch it. Why did I they don't want to waste all love even. for Beeble's on the tank. Well, why did they make Steven the Beldum right. line as hard to catch as a legend? Like, why? Because it's basically as good as a lot of the legends. Are you sure about that? I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, better I can. Than fucking, it's better than fucking Groudon. I guess Dragonite doesn't get that bad a catch rate or any of the others. Some people think it's just because it was originally meant to be a gift from Steven, only a gift for Steven. So it's just trying to punish hackers, but... But then they made it a wild I... Pokemon. But then it appeared in the wild next gen, I guess? In black and white? In sun and moon? It's oh no, like, shit. Uh, like as soon as like Gen 4, I think you can find it in swarms. Oh my god. Yeah, once you can find it, I, I think they should have changed this catch rate to a normal catch rate. Yeah, like, what yeah, the hell? That might have been better. Yeah. Because 3 is not good. Yeah. I think it's impossible to catch in certain balls, too. What? Like, is it? Yeah, like, you can't catch in a heavy ball because it's too light, and the catch rate means it just... Literally impossible. I'm killing this thing. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I shouldn't have even wasted those Pokeballs. Goodbye, Unfortunate, Belden. but it is probably for the best. Yeah, whatever, we'll get money back. We're no longer as loaded, but... Yeah, we're still kind of loaded. No, we're not. But... Hey, that's what battles are for. Oh, you really need to get loaded. You could disappoint me and sell the fucking blue orb, but I would be very upset. I mean, we also have a greasy orb, and that's kind of useless. Oh, yeah. What kind of gentleman is named Jimmy? Who goes by Jimmy? This guy. Yeah. Gentleman Jimmy. That kind of has a nice ring to it. Like, Rob, if we, mm. if we really want, we could just, like... We could just have... We could just sell the greasy orb, because... It's like, it's not yeah. that good with Giratina. I honestly rather had the defense of its of its normal form. Turtwig. Aw, oh, then Maybe altered form is better all. Yeah. Huh? That's a rock tap. I don't want to risk it. Sudo Wudo! I think I think that's a mega Sudo Wudo. I don't think it has a Delta, but it has, it has a Mega. It's like, it has an old man beard with leaves. It's very funny. Shooter <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. What? Oh my god, why do you not kill anything? Because, fuck. Scrafty doesn't really have, like, the best attack, though. Yeah, it's like base 90, but it's defenses. 
And it has like a million yeah, ways of buffing uh, its stats. Yeah, it has higher defenses than attack. It's it powerful moves though to make up for. Yeah, and buffing moves. Dragon Dance, Bulk Up, Moxie. That's pretty much the entire Dang. point of Scrafty as far as I'm concerned. It's good when you buff it. I guess in doubles you used fake out and stuff, but now there's better users of everything it does. Yeah, like Incineroar. Oh, this guy's actually a trainer. He didn't play the da 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 He didn't play that music. Oh, no! The fuck is that? Ew! Kill it. Yeah, I'm looking. I have a feeling this thing's ground type. No, it's metagross. Because it's very, very gross. It is gross. Uh, there's two of them. Yeah, this is the bug one. Don't be ground type. Uh, Delta Medico Spider is a dual ground bug type. Fuck. Well, what do we do? What moves does it get? It's level 17. Delta Medico Spider. Ugh. What current moves you should have that are closest to level? I don't yeah. like this thing. But yeah, uh, I don't think there's any. Um, toxic spikes, thing. bug bite, bulldoze, and poison fang. Oh my god. We're gonna lose something. Yep. Um, What's it got? Uh, toxic spikes, bug bite, poison fang, and bulldoze. Hmm. I guess we'll try Rocky. He's got defense. Uh, oh, we got this. All right. All right. Good. 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 I'm fine with that. Isn't this his last Mon? Oh, God. That did not. That did nothing. Okay. Yes, it is a Metagross. Yeah, that actually makes more sense. I'm not okay. risking it. I'm not risking my starter. Good, don't. I'm not gonna... If you think I'm gonna lose anything to this ugly son of a bitch. It's so ugly. Ugh. <laughs> also, it kind of looks like it has, like, a brain coming out of it. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, well, I did not know it had that. He used po what was it? Oh, Poison Touch. Oh, it has Poison Touch. We have an antidote, okay. Uh, stop. It's fine. Well, the poison. I actually looked at Metagross and said, I want an actual spider instead of a metal spider. Yeah. I don't know, but they need they need murdered. They need counseling. <laughs> yeah. This design is freaky, and I hate it. Okay. 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 No poison touch. This is gonna give us a lot of experience, I hope. I hope. It's a pseudo. It's a Delta pseudo. Delta, Delta Pokemon should be worth more experience. <laughs> because... Because, uh, I said so? Experience They're a lot scarier you. than the normal ones. Oh, okay. At least no poison touch. Experience is just based on the HP stat, which is always weird to me. Is it? Actually, I guess that, that would make sense. That would explain Chansey, Blissey, and Audino. Huh. Sandshrew? Yeah, so formula mostly regarding the HP stat. Well, you gotta really stay weird. in, otherwise you're gonna get toxic. Oh, yeah. Shit. Can you be a Lolan, Sandshrew? It's not. This game is pre-Gen 7. And I doubt they would have actually, like, made the Alola forms a thing. I mean, I guess they could have. Like, if they wanted to. I forget when exactly this game came out. We have now taken over Alola. Oh, no. They were oh! Okay, 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 okay. Did nothing. It did nothing. It did nothing. Fuck you. Sand true. Okay. Okay, we made it out alive. We've made it out alive. Fuck this trainer. 
What? 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 Oh, that hurts my failings. Oh. I don't care. You had a fucking spider. Fuck you. Well, I guess I'll just hiker dance my way out of here. <laughs> he just oh, no. My favorite type is ugly spider type. <laughs> he just does the hiker dance all sad like. You deserve to die.